Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Kalea, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use JavaScript. In a survey done throughout the United States in 2014 by Statista.com, they found out that only 4% of Americans consider themselves to be proficient at using JavaScript. Hence the graph. Now, by a raise of hands, how many of you would consider yourselves within the top 50%? I see one, maybe two, maybe oh. three. Four, that's good. Now, I'm gonna assume that the rest of you would be within the bottom 50%, meaning that you're not very good, terrible, or have never even tried. I'm here to change that. About two years ago, I was new to the chopstick scene, so I was in the same boat as most of you. But thanks to my good friend, Ian, he taught me how to use chopsticks with a little push and shove, and I practiced a lot. Chopsticks have been around for thousands of years and are easy to use in a few short, simple steps. So, to start off, you're gonna wanna take your chopsticks, follow along if you'd like. We're gonna take the first stick. This is gonna be the base stick. This is the stick that is not going to move whatsoever. This is the base of everything. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take it and put it on the utmost knuckle of your middle finger, and then you want to have the rest of it rest on the back in between your pointer and thumb. Next, we're going to want to establish the point of the second stick where we're actually going to pinch and move things. So you have your thumb and your pointer finger free. You're going to want to put them in between here, and you want them to be mostly parallel. If it isn't parallel, then you're going to be going to side to side and you won't be able to pick up anything. It'll be very hard. Now, to review this process, I'm going to start again in case I lost any of you in my several steps. First stick goes on the uppermost knuckle of your middle finger, and then the back of it is going to rest in between your thumb and your pointer finger. Second stick is going to go in between your thumb and your pointer finger, and then in order to move it, you are actually going to need to just move your ring finger, or your pointer finger, up and down. In a study done by SoraNews.com, they discovered that by practicing good use of chopsticks, you can actually increase your penmanship because you hold your chopsticks the same way that you would a pen. And then, if I may make a suggestion, if you're going to start using chopsticks, Instructables.com also suggests that if you are going to be using chopsticks, you should be going for things like sushi or gyoza or stuff like that that um, is bigger and not as small to pick up like rice or ramen that can requires more hand-eye coordination. Hopefully after today's lesson, you guys are slightly more knowledgeable in the use of chopsticks that you will be able to set yourself apart from the majority of the population and you won't end up like this guy. Never mind that, the dog hands fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for listening.